Right now, though, I want to head straight to Innisfil, uh, the scene, the town where that awful shooting took place yesterday evening. Uh, and reaction continues to come in. Uh, the premier of the province, Doug Ford, alongside Minister Caroline Mulrooney, just arrived on scene and he's speaking to reporters. Let's take a listen in live. Firefighters or, or police officers. Uh, but that's something that we always have to stay focused on. What's your message to the, the families of these fallen officers? Oh, my heart breaks for you, and I'm so, so sorry for your, for your loss. Uh, you know, one officer was near retirement. The other young officer was passionate about his job. Uh, he was passionate about mental health as well. Uh, but this is, this is a, a, again, a senseless tragedy, and we, and we're going to be there for them. We're always going to have their, their backs and, and always support these uh, families. Do you have a connection to South Simcoe, please, or are you just coming up to show your support? No, I've met many of the, the officers from South Simcoe. I don't have a personal connection. Uh, but, uh, again, once you're part of the police family, it's a, a strong bond. And uh, we're always there to support them. Okay. What's, what's Thank your you. message to the community? Uh, you know that community like Innisfil, uh, it's very quiet, very calm. Well, if, first of all, our, our condolences go out. Uh, but uh, Caroline, she represents a big part of the, the community here, so maybe I'll pass it over to you, Caroline. Sure. No, it's just uh, our communities across Simcoe County are, are grieving. So Simcoe Police is a very small police force, and everybody knows everybody. Uh, and so, uh, so it's touching our communities from Innisfil to Bradford and beyond uh, very much. And uh, so we're just here to show our support. How does the community recover from something like this? We are here to support um, our other families. Um, and we will always remember and be grateful for the sacrifice that they have, they have shown. Um, they paid the ultimate price keeping us safe. Um, and so we'll be there and we'll continue to grieve and support their family. We grieve with their families and support them as we best we can. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That is, that is Ontario Premier Doug Ford alongside uh, Minister Caroline Mulrooney. You can see them. She's the MPP who represents uh, the area that encompasses Innisfil. You can see them there uh, meeting with uh, police to mark the uh, shooting deaths of Constables Morgan Russell and Devin Northrup. We'll keep that scene up there for you for a moment. But I do also want to bring in the CBC's Katie Nicholson, who has been following developments all throughout the day. Uh, Katie, uh, police are kind of keeping a tight lid on the details surrounding all of this. What do we know? Well, there is a tight lid specifically because there is a special investigation unit uh, investigation underway. I mean, that happens whenever there is uh, a death coming out of police involvement. In this case, we have three people, two police officers and a 23-year-old suspect. The, the details are scant, but what I can tell you is that there was a call that uh, it was made by family members of the 23-year-old uh, that the members of uh, the 23-year-old's family were in the home. It happened around uh, 8 o'clock last night we've seen video of people around here of, of emergency vehicles just flying down country roads a, a site people here aren't used to seeing uh, and and people neighbors in this area just describing hearing multiple gunshots last night rushing out and seeing uh, a flurry of activity of seeing uh, people being worked on outside of the officers who were injured uh, being taken out uh, of multiple officers and squad cars here uh, and of medevacs happening so so uh, police officers being taken out uh, on, on, in ambulances uh, requiring uh, emergency medical care. And, and that's really sort of sat with, with folks here today who are just not used to that, of seeing police tape up in their neighborhood. I mean, there's just uh, this entire block. Uh, there's a section here on both sides uh, and people are sort of looking out uh, their windows. Uh, we've seen a couple of people behind us try to bring flowers uh, to the house where the shootings happened and also drop flowers uh, in memory of the officers at sort of the margins uh, at both sides of this uh, this blockade here. Um, so we also learned that the 23-year-old may have had a rifle-type gun, uh, but the SIU says it's going to take months for them to iron this out. There is an autopsy scheduled for Friday for the 23-year-old. We'll be able to learn more about the cause of death there, but certainly uh, the deaths uh, seem to have all happened because of the gunfire that was reported and the involvement of, of, of a rifle and, and weapons. So all of this has to be sort of uh, gone over with a, a fine tooth comb. Uh, there are multiple shell casings there. All of this, we've seen forensics people going in and out all day, uh, just trying to 
sort of comb through all of the evidence and it will of course take months to really get answers as to what happened here and and also months for this community to to heal and get over um, what they witnessed last night. Yeah and just if you could uh, Katie reflect a bit more on what you're hearing from the community. We just heard from Ontario Premier Doug Ford alongside Minister Caroline Mulroney who represents the the area uh, speak about the community itself. They're there to offer support in any way that they can they said. Uh, what are you hearing from members of the community? You know, it's funny, I think uh, Minister Mulroney really hit the nail on the head. She said this is a small uh, small town with a small police force. People know their police officers, and that's really the, the sense we have today. Uh, we heard from the mayor, Lynn Dolan, and she was so emotional when she spoke to us. It was just after the police chief formally identified the officers who died, uh, and, and she was just shaking with emotion as she talked about, and, and she knew one of them personally, and, and, and she talked about how this is really cratered uh, and left such a big impact on the community. Here is the mayor. To say that our community is devastated would be an understatement. So Simcoe police are beloved in our communities, so well respected by everyone and well loved and we're just broken. And Vashi, as I came into the community this morning, I stopped as a woman was uh, basically uh, taping a whole bunch of flowers to a pole with a sign uh, with two broken hearts uh, for the police officers. They were flowers that she had picked from her own garden. She didn't know the police officers. She just was devastated by what had happened in her community. And she talked about how important the police were uh, just as as the fabric of the community here and uh, and how her heart was broken. So uh, that's just somebody with with no real connection to the events that happened here, but who felt deeply the loss of the two officers. All right, thanks very much for all that information, Katie. The CBC's Katie Nicholson for us in Innisfil. The Prime Minister also addressed the tragedy this morning. Have a listen. I want to begin by taking a moment uh, to offer my deepest condolences to the loved ones of the two South Simcoe police officers uh, killed in the line of duty. I, I know the families of people who serve um, are always worried for their loved ones as they step forward to serve their communities to keep the rest of us safe. Uh, and I can't imagine what those families are going through. Please know that we stand with you as families. We stand with all uh, those who step up to serve and protect us all. Uh, and uh, we will continue to be there to support those families uh, and uh, their colleagues uh, and the entire community of Innisfil as they mourn this loss. Let's bring in John Broussard. He's the Conservative MP who represents the riding of Barry Innisfil. Hi, Mr. Broussard. Good to have you with us, though I, I certainly do wish it were under different circumstances. So do I, Mash. Uh, let me just start off. We just listened to uh, the Premier and, and Minister Caroline Mulrooney, who just arrived on scene to offer their, their own condolences and, and spoke about the uh, sort of tight-knit nature of the community and how it's being impacted. Your initial reaction upon hearing about this, and then what are you hearing from members of the community whom you represent? Well, obviously, Vashi, it's a, a sad day, and you know it's a day that we're sadly reminded of the dangers that police officers face every single day. Um, I think when you look at the raw emotion, not just the police, uh, acting police chief Van Dyke this afternoon, Mayor Dolan and others, um, I think you get a real sense of um, the, uh, the profound loss. Sorry. No, not at all. I understand. You know, this and Caroline, Caroline hit it on the head when she said that, you know, this is a small police service. This is a police service that has led um, not just in police enforcement, but in community involvement around uh, the communities of Innisfil and Bradford, West Gwillenberry. Uh, somebody somewhere in each one of these communities has a connection to each one of these officers, and if not these officers, by extension to their families. So this is going to uh, have a deep, deep uh, impact uh, in, in our communities. And it's going to be felt for the days and, and the months ahead. Yeah, I thought today as I was listening to some of those comments that the exact same thing jumped out at me when uh, when when Chief John Van Dyke said that he went to college, police college, with Constable Russell, right? It just sort of underlines um, just, I don't mean small in a derogatory sense, but how, how small mm -hmm. and close-knit, you know what I mean, a, a community of that size is. And I can only imagine 
all the other people, as, as I'm sure you can, mm -hmm. who would have similar stories. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, it's a type of police service that people, when they um, join the police service in South Simcoe, uh, they stay with it uh, for the majority of their careers. And uh, oftentimes they'll hire officers to come in from other police forces, but you rarely see officers from the South Simcoe force leave to go to other communities. So they build those roots in the community and their families build those roots in the community and everybody knows everyone in some way. And, uh, you know, last February, uh, they had their police services awards. Carolyn and I were there along with MP Scott Davidson, and we presented awards to officers, Russell and Northrop, uh, officer Russell, uh, for his length of service, uh, over 30 plus years of service and just a couple of months away from retirement. So, you know, their families are going to be dealing with great grief over uh, the coming days, weeks, months, and years. And, and I can tell you the tight-knitness of, of this policing community and our community in general, uh, as Mayor Dolan said, we will be there with those families for as long as they need us to be. And I expect that that's going to be a very long time, Vashi. Are, are you thinking of those interactions you just referred to today? Have you, have you been reflecting on them? I have. I've actually reviewed some of the pictures um, that were taken. So I know that the uh, the community is uh, is going to be coming together tonight um, at the Innisfil Community Church at 7 p.m. Uh, for a candlelight vigil. My wife and I will be there, and uh, it'd be good. It'd be good to have the rest of the community there as well, Bashi. Okay, Mr. Broussard, we'll make sure and, and keep getting that information out throughout our program this evening. I appreciate you making the time. I, uh, Thank you. I know how hard it is, and, uh, and we're thinking of your entire community this evening. Thanks, Vash. John Broussard is the MP for Barry Innisfil. We will continue, of course, covering uh, the scene in, Is in Innisfil and any developments throughout the hour. As I just uh, showed you, as we just showed you, we did hear from Ontario Premier Doug Ford, who is there right now. If he makes any additional comments to the media, we'll be sure to bring them to you live as well. <music> Hi, I'm Vashi Capello's host of Power in Politics. See more of our show by subscribing to the CBC News Channel or click the link for another video. <laughs>